Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I'm gonna go straight into it. You clicked on this video because you want to learn how to charge premium fees and how to get clients ultimately to invest more money into your services. Now this spreadsheet here is exactly what I went through earlier with one of the coaches that I work with one-on-one. -on -one. Um, he sells a package, it's $4,000 per customer. And I'm not gonna go into detail about what he offers, but I'm going to really just go through the questions that I had him answer. Once he answered these questions, he was way more clear not only with what he's offering, but who to offer it to. And he was way more clear, like when he takes on a new client, how to onboard them without spending more time, right? So these questions here, I have six questions. Uh, let's go through this together. So if I'm you, I would take out a pen, a piece of paper. If you want access to this spreadsheet, um, send me a text message at 210-960-5771. I'll send it to you. Um, I'm not going to put that in the link in the description uh, for lazy people. If you're serious, if you want the spreadsheet, text me and I'll give it to you. Now, let's start with the most important thing first, which is what is the deep problem I solve for my clients? This is something most coaches and trainers never, ever think about. They're thinking, well, I'm just going to go put on sessions for my clients. Coaches are not thinking about what is the actual transformation that I'm delivering to my clients, what is the outcome that they should be getting? And that's not just about like, for example, if you're a basketball trainer or soccer player, that's not just about them playing better, right? And you know, if you ever have a chance to get on a call with me one-on-one, -on -one, I can go into probably more detail about what's the real deep problem that you're solving uh, for, for your clients. But this is the thing you have to understand. You have to clearly answer that and when you clearly answer that, ultimately what you have is you have a business that solves deeper problems than other coaches and trainers in your area, right? And when you have that, you can always charge more because you are talking directly to parents who have kids that suffer with that type of problem that you're solving, right? That's different than just being a skills trainer. This is why coaches that I work with always end up charging way more money for their services because we pinpoint what is the problem that they solve. I can't tell you what that problem is that you're solving because this is a YouTube video and I'm not, you're not in front of me right now, right? But that is the first question. Second is how long does it take for my clients to get the transformation? So does that take three months, six months, uh, nine months, a year? What is that for you? And the only way to really understand that is by looking at the metrics in your business and looking at the results. And when I say metrics, it's lifetime value of the customers. What, what are your customers achieving? What's the results that they're, they're getting um, when they're in your program? What's the drop-off level? Are they dropping off a month after they join your program or are they really committed to your program for years, right? So that is a question only you can answer, all right? Next here is if paid in full, what is the price I command? So that example I gave you earlier with the coach that I'm working with, he charges 4K, so 4,000 per client. That is the paid in full price. So with that, all right, you can just do the math here. If he, if he gets 25 clients in one year, all right, at 4,000, that's $100,000 per year, right? And that's assuming that 25 of those people, they stay in his program for a year, which is what he has, and they drop out, right? If they drop out after a year, he's starting the second year over again. That's not the case with his business because he has very high retention rate. So he might have, he might close 25 people in one year, the next year he might close 35. Um, and he's adding to his program at this point, right? Now, I'm just using these numbers as simple uh, demonstration here. Um, he has way more than 25 clients that he's working with. so. The higher that you charge though, ultimately, the less clients that you have to work with, right? If you charge a very low amount, you need to have a lot of clients that you're working with. And it's very difficult to charge a low amount of money 
if you're solving a huge problem, <laughs> right? People who have a really big problem are willing to pay way more than you think to have that problem solved, right? So that's why we always need to charge a premium, right? If you're gonna solve a big problem. If you're solving small problems, guess what? Expect to charge a very little amount, right? Next one here, if it's a split payment, how many months to pay it off? So one of the changes I've made in my business recently is I don't do like, annual, sorry, I don't do like monthly payments anymore. Uh, that's something I've done for years. I've gone away from that recently where uh, if a client wants to work with me one-on-one -on -one, um, or in my group setting, whatever, uh, they're either gonna pay up front for everything or I'm gonna break it into three payments that are due in three months from now. So they'll have more skin in the game immediately than a monthly payment. And all of those payments roll in over three months instead of 12 months. And I can tell you just from experience, making that change has simplified my business a lot. And I would recommend if you have any sort of upfront option, that should be something that ultimately if they pay that, they're getting your training at a discount. And if they choose the three payment plan that I'm talking about here, they're paying more total than they would if they're paying upfront, right? So again, that's a question you should answer. Next one is how many clients total do I need to make 100K in the next 12 months? Now you could replace 100K with 50K or 200K or 300K, that's up to you, right? If you haven't gotten to $100,000 per year yet with your business, then I think that would be a good goal. If you're just starting your business, I think a good goal first is to you know make $50,000 in one year, right? It shouldn't be try to make $100,000 in the first year of business because you probably won't get there unless you're really good at sales at the beginning. Right, so this is just comes down to numbers, all right? And with that example, I said 4,000 per cl uh, customer uh, per year. Um, you know, he just needs 25 clients. That's closing one client every two weeks during the year, which is unbelievably doable, all right? If you're marketing, if you're confident with sales, and if you're solving a big problem. If you're solving a small problem, you can't sell something for 4,000. No one wants to pay $4,000 for a small problem to be solved. All right, and lastly here, this is one of the most important things. If I add a new client, am I, the trainer, all right, and the business owner, am I working more hours for every client that does come on? So here's what I mean. If you uh, add two new clients that pay $4,000 each, are you having to work more with those clients or are you putting them into a system, right? And there's a big difference. Because one would be like every client you add, you're putting them into private training, right? And a lot of coaches don't do this, but this is something I do and something I, I would coach you on if you were ever part of my consulting program. Every new one-on-one -on -one client you get, on average, if they're in your program for a year, you're gonna be spending minimum 52 hours extra with that client over the course of the year if you see them once a week over the course of 12 months, right? So if you have two clients that you add at 4,000, like that's $8,000 up front, which is great, right? But now you're spending 104 hours extra time for that for those two clients. And that time compounds with every single client that you end up adding, right? And so it can be this scary snowball of time that gets just completely lost, even though you're generating money, which is great, right? All of your time gets swallowed up. Now, if you have this set up for group training, those two clients now that just got, got added are being put into a program that already exists. And that way you're not spending more physical hours with those clients. So it'd be like you adding two clients, they pay $8,000 total, they get moved into a group that's already functioning and you're not working more hours with that group. You're working the exact same amount of time. And this is why a lot of the coaches that I work with one-on-one -on -one or in our uh, group program, they end up working way less. And when they close clients, they're not having to spend more time with those clients. They're putting them into a system. Now, if you watched this video, if all this clicks and you want like more coaching uh, to, to get ultimately get more clients that pay more money, um, up front or over the course of the year, I really encourage you to go to my website, go to buildmysportsbiz.com, and there is a tab there, and I'll show you here. So if you get to my website, 
and go down the page and you click on consulting options. If you're serious, you've watched some of my YouTube videos, you know that uh, I can help out and, and you want help, you're hungry to get help, go to this page here, uh, watch this video, it will show you how to apply uh, to either get my help one-on-one -on -one or to join our group coaching program. That's it for this video. Install what we're talking about. I know that's going to make a massive difference in your business. It's the same exercise that I do if, if I was working with you. And uh, when we get crystal clear on that, you get more confidence with your offer because you know the problem that you're solving. That's it. Hope this helps and uh, catch you later.